A world away from the highlands of Burma, the Kachin tribe are preparing for a feast. I join Kai, Mr. Lamong, Seng Moon and her little daughter Jacinta at Sydney markets to buy fish for the celebration. It's a celebration where a new man will be welcomed into the tribe in a traditional naming ceremony. There's a fish like this? Like bigger, 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 bigger. Like yep, yep. The ancestors of the Kachin people lived on the Tibetan plateau and migrated south to the mountainous regions of northeastern Burma. Thank you. Thank you very much. Traditionally, fresh fish marinated in herbs is essential for a Kachin feast. We begin the preparation at Mr. Lamong's house. Preserving his culture, he grows his own Kachin herbs native to Burma. My goodness, this garden is huge, isn't it? This is false mint. False mint. It's very strong. Mm. They also call hot mint. Hot mint. Hot right. mint, yeah. This one's basil. Basil. Shintonban. Shintonban. Oh, basil. Green joy. Green joy. I can understand why. <laughs> smells joyous. It's beautiful. You've got your own small piece of Burma here, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. All the food you need, all the herbs you need. What leaf is this then? Shalap. We chop it finely and yep. cook it with beef. This is saw leaf, false coriander. It goes yeah. with beef. Oh, I can imagine that going really well. And what's the this flour. then? The same, this is that's the same. come from here. Yeah. yeah. And they call it false, false coriander. <laughs> These things I've never seen before in all my years of cooking. We have the two kilo barramundi, looks fabulous that. And uh, here we have the coriander, coriander, coriander seeds. seeds. Ginger, ginger and garlic. garlic. And what's this here? I think the stock. Oh, is it? A <laughs> little bit dry stock. Yeah. Lovely. Stock. So Some salt, uh, lemons, carbs. tomatoes. We've got all these herbs that we picked. And we're going to use fresh chili a lot. We're going to start with the coriander seeds, two tablespoons. Okay. Marinating fish is Mr. Lamong's specialty. Some garlic. Oh, yeah. My goodness. <laughs> here we go. Garlic. Yeah. And sauce. Yeah, oh, it's going to help it um, break down, isn't it? The garlic. I can feel it already now. Soften. Chili also, it depends on how much you can eat. Depends on how spicy you like your food. Yeah. My goodness. <laughs> 12 chilies in here. I there's plenty of water tonight. <laughs> and then all these fabulous herbs we picked from the garden. It's a good smell. It smells yeah. absolutely <laughs> outstanding. It's attacking all my senses right now. So water barramundi is new to the Kachin people. Having come from a part of Burma miles from the sea, where the fish came from local lakes and rivers. Can you show me how you cut your fish? Cut smaller, like that. So you're making small incisions in the fish. So we have our banana leaves here. They've taken on a strange look. That's the smoked banana leaf. It's smoke on the stove. Oh, on the electric hob, yeah. you can see the rings there. Yes. It's a very attractive pattern, isn't it? Almost like a bit of artwork. The fish will be wrapped first in banana leaves to enrich the flavour. This package will then be secured by other more stringy foliage. Combination of chapar leaf. Yeah. And then the smoked banana leaf. Yeah. We call them all up. We wrap here. Look at that. And the spice. They work. Chicken stock. Some chicken powder. Yeah, chicken powder. OK. You've got all that salt the chilli and the garlic, there's beautiful herbs going in there. It's absolutely yes. intense. I don't touch that, but I can see you're working in with your fingers. It's going to be one spicy barramundi. The fresh lemon in there as well. Here you go. Oh, OK, done. That's what Why would you use aluminium foil? Look at that. I can tell you've done that before. <laughs> Tonight on the ceremony, we will put on the bobby. Aussie Bobby. Like all good Australians. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the herb garden, Seng Moon and her good friend Kai collect more herbs for the pennywort salad. Ooh. Good soil, you've got some worms there. <laughs> yes. That's always a good sign, isn't it? You get some worms going. We're yeah. going to make pennywort salad, so we have to pick up pennywort. Yes, it's one of the kitchen traditional medicine as well. It's a, it's a little bit bitter. First of all, it's sweet and then it's bitter, isn't it? Yes. What healing properties does it have? Make you look younger. Yeah. More oh, handsome. Oh, really? <laughs> I think I might and need a kilo of that. <laughs> good for your eyes and your heart. Okay. So it's quite versatile then. Well. 
We're yeah. going to make our pennywort salad. Tell me what ingredients we're going to use in it. Pennywort and some other herbs, yeah. and tomato, onion. limes and onion, onion, and fresh chili. More bird's eye chili. Garlic, garlic, garlic. and soybean paste or cake. Whatever. Yeah. Soybean you, cake. That, yeah. yeah, that's a big one. My that's goodness, <laughs> and that's a very unusual aroma. <laughs> almost a bit kind of burnt steak. Yeah. There's the paste. <laughs> That the pickle paste, <laughs> the pickle paste. Oh no, that's a bit more palatable. Mm. Mm. Yum. <laughs> Yum. It is good. It's tasting good. It's a bit strong I actually. The one. You, which one. one do you want to use? This one is fresh. Okay, let's use this then, the fresh stuff. Right, let's okay, go. Okay, first uh, we're going to chop this honey wood. Yep. Oh, you got a good chop. <laughs> She is going to be a chef too. She's oh, really? Now. Yeah, I'm really studying. interested in that. I'll have to come and work in my kitchen one day. Okay, we can put it here. Yeah. Very good. Nice technique. After cutting the onion, we have to wash it to remove the spicy. We don't You're want looking that. for the sweetness and the texture yeah. rather than the uh, the pungency of the onion. Tomato. Tomato. <laughs> Three chilies, bird's eye chilies. And how much bean paste would you use? Three teaspoons. Okay. And with a unique combination of pennywort, chili, and fermented soybean paste, this was not going to be an average salad. Okay, that's one teaspoon. I know. Yep, yep. Usually I mix with a glass. <laughs> I can do it with hands if you like. Should we do it with a spoon? No. Yeah. Is that okay? But traditional way. Oh, okay, well, get <laughs> stuff in there, yeah. yeah. Forget the spoon. <laughs> so you're squeezing this yes, together, yeah. to squeeze all the juices together and get all the yeah. maximum flavour out of this dish. Just can't wait to get stuck into it. Tastes yum. Yum. Mm. Mm. Chili? Too hot for you? Mm. No. Just... It's probably the most textural, vibrant flavoured dishes I've ever it's eaten. Really it's really, really good. Yeah. It's 